Hello everybody, it's Elena and in today's video we are building this really big modern family house in Brennelton Bay in The Sims 4 and I built it on a 40 by 40 lot and it fits a total of I would say 8 sims. I made 5 bedrooms so I kind of like imagined that this might be like a house for multiple generations but like in a different way than when I normally do houses for multiple generations and I'll explain that in just a second okay but I had so much fun building this house and I played around with terrain tools in this build which I haven't done in a while I realized that when I was building this I, I don't think I've done it since December or something so it's been a, a long time and I had a lot of fun doing it I really like to play with terrain tools I mean they're kind of like intimidating and scary and kind of you know out of my comfort zone but I do like it and I like what you can do with them even though they are pretty difficult to work with but I really like the way that the terrain manipulation whatever turned out in this build I think it looks really good I had so much fun building this house it was definitely like super fun and I'm really happy with the outcome so I hope you all like it too my parents said that it was a pretty house and they liked it so I mean it must be true if they said it you know and you don't get to disagree okay no I'm just kidding but I like this house and I think it's cute and I hope you like it too okay but as I said this house has five beds rooms and it fits a total of eight sims and I imagine that it's for multiple generations. So I made like one pretty big bedroom which is the master bedroom of the house and then I made one more bedroom which is like almost as big as the master bedroom. It has a double bed and I furnished it in kind of like a mature way I would say. So I imagine that the parents, the parents that live in the master bedroom has an adult child who's like grown you know and they're probably married so they live in this house with their spouse and next to their bedroom there's a little toddler bedroom with two toddler beds and i imagine that the young couple like the child and their spouse of the parents the older parents have two twin toddlers so they all live here together and the older parents also have two other children so on the second floor i put a teenage bedroom with room for like one teen in my mind and a children's bedroom with also like room for one child so that's why it's for eight sims total and normally like when i do houses for multiple generations i just like have like a couple and their children in the house and then maybe like one or two grandparents but in this house we have like non-grown children that are like the aunts or uncles of the little toddlers that also live in the house so i feel like it's kind of a fun and interesting situation and i feel like this would be such a fun house to grow up in because if you're like these little toddlers you get to grow up with your aunts and uncles and your grandparents and your parents and it just seems like so much fun so i had a lot of fun building this house and i think it's really cute it's kind of expensive i think it came in at around like 125k i don't know i can't exactly remember but yeah i don't know I've, i don't feel like it's like too expensive because it's super big and obviously it's not gonna be like 50k when it's this size and i furnished it and whatnot but i think it's really cute and they have a really really nice view because this lot just has a really beautiful view and they can see the ocean and whatnot and it's just really gorgeous so i love this a lot i don't think i've ever built here before or no i think i have one time but it's been a while like a long long time one time I did a renovation of the Delgado's house and the Delgado family normally like lives on this a lot. But I didn't post a speed build of that because that was like years and years ago before I had my channel. I don't think I've built on this a lot since then. And I actually went into my game and looked at that renovation of the Delgado house like a few months ago. And I was like, what was I doing? What on earth was I doing? Like I liked my renovation of the Delgado house better than the original EA version, which I feel like is obvious because EA makes the worst houses. <laughs> so mine was definitely a lot better than theirs, but it was not that good. And I definitely would have done a lot of things differently today, but I feel like that's good because you kind of like get to see how far you've come and like how much progress you've made when you go back and look at your older builds and whatnot. So I think that's really fun. I don't know why I told that story, but oh well, whatever. <laughs> Oh, and also, so this house was actually inspired by a picture that I saw on Pinterest that I, like, just fell in love with. And I've seen this picture on Pinterest, like, so many times. Like, whenever I go on Pinterest, I see this picture and I'm just like, I really want to, like, try to 
not recreate necessarily this house, but I, I want to do a house inspired by it. And then the other day I finally sat down and did it and this is the house that I was inspired by and I think it's so cute. I definitely feel like you can see the similarities, but they're not like the same, you know, I didn't try to recreate it. So they're definitely not the same exact house or whatever, but they do look pretty similar. But as you can see, I did kind of like an interesting different thing with the garage in this house. And I didn't actually like make a garage. It just looks like I did. But what I did is that I took the door from the industrial loft kit that kind of looks like a garage door. And then I used a tool to kind of like pull it down to the foundation of this house. And that just makes it look like I have a little garage underneath the house. And that's really cool in my opinion. And it's kind of like different and fun. But yeah, it's obviously not like a functional garage. But then again, like what does a functional garage mean in The Sims 4? We don't have cars. We don't need them to be functional or anything like that. But yeah, basically you just like can't go in there because it's not an actual thing. Like it's just in the foundation. It's not an actual room or anything. But yeah, it just looks nice in my opinion. I think it's fun. It just added a little bit of something something, I guess. <laughs> also, I just had to take like a 20 minute break from the voiceover because some of my neighbors have been drilling like on and off all morning which is so annoying because stop drilling i'm trying to record you know <laughs> but then they did that and i was like okay that's annoying i'll just like wait a few seconds for them to be done drilling and then i'll talk again you know then they stopped drilling and i started talking recording whatnot and then somebody just like started honking so much like they were like dirt 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 you know so annoying i stopped for a little bit and then a few seconds later they stopped and then I started recording again. And what did they do? They honked again so loudly, you know? And I was like, okay, it's fine. And then I started again when they stopped. And what did my next door neighbors do? They started like, I think cutting metal or something, <laughs> something very loud. It was like right next door in their front yard. And I like, I, I don't know exactly what they did, but I saw some like smoke or something coming up from their front yard and I heard something very loud. So I feel like they just like cut metal. Basically, I ended up having to take a 20 minute break from the voiceover, which is really annoying, but I hope I won't get interrupted again. <laughs> But I hate having neighbors. I wish I did not have to live near people, but I do. No, but like the other day when I just started building this house, I think I was probably like an hour into building it. I had like done the shape of the house and most of the exterior, not like the landscaping or anything, but I had done the terrain manipulation, whatever. And then my dad came into my room and he saw the build and he was like, did you do that? I was like, yeah, I'm just working on it right now. And he said it was really pretty. And I was like, oh, thank you. My dad liked it. Okay, my dad liked it. So that means it's good. My parents like don't care about The Sims at all and they don't understand it. So they never like really say anything about like The Sims or my channel and whatnot. And I don't really talk to them about it because it's just like, I guess not something I really want to talk about for the most part. It's like my thing and I just want to have it for myself, but they both said that they really liked this build. My mom also came in when I was taking the screenshots or no, I think I had taken the screenshots and then I was just like looking through them to see which one would be best for the thumbnail and whatnot. And then she said that she really liked it. So both of them seemed to like it. So I think, I think this is a good house, but I'm not really sure. I'm feeling a little tiny bit unsure about it. I just, I'm not super fond and not super confident in the exterior, mainly like the landscaping, like the landscaping far away from the house, I would say. I'm not really super sure about that, but I think it's pretty good for the most part. <laughs> but this is a long video, which is fun and would not. And I was actually not planning on posting this video today. I had like another speed build ready for me to just like do the voiceover and whatnot. And I'm thinking that I'll just like post that one throughout the week and then I'll post this one today because like it's Sunday today so we have more time to do a long voiceover and edit a long video and all of that stuff so I think that one day throughout the week I'll just do the other one because it's a lot shorter but since we were like just talking about my neighbors and how much they tend to annoy me I've got something I want to tell you because I've been thinking about this for a while and I kind of like I love to tell little stories in my voiceovers I think it's so much fun and I have some nightmare neighbor stories that I want to tell you because I live 
very close to a bunch of people, okay? Not all of them are nice. Let's just put it that way. Not all of them are super friendly. I have a bunch of stories from just like people being really stupid in my neighborhood. So I just want to ask you this question. Do you want me to tell you stories about my annoying and stupid and really rude neighbors in my videos? Because I really want to do that. I really want to like tell stories about like my acquaintances and stuff like that. Just like people that I don't like and just weird stories about people in my real life sometimes because it's really fun but sometimes I also like feel bad about doing it because I feel like I'm just talking trash about people that don't know I'm talking trash about them on the internet but then again like they wronged me and like I'm not saying their name and no one knows who I'm talking about you know like it's fine and they don't know about my channel so does it really hurt anybody? I don't think so. So I do have some stories about these two specific people but I also have a lot of stories about like other people in my neighborhood so just like let me know in the comments if you want some stories about my nightmare neighbors because i think we all kind of like have some stories about neighbors that are just super annoying so if you want to like tell me some of your nightmare neighbor stories in the comments feel free to do so because i love i love gossip i love me a bit of good neighborhood gossip right but the neighbors that i want to tell you about in this video are some people that live like a few houses over from me and I think they're like a couple in their 60s or 70s, something like that. Like probably late 60s to early 70s, something like that. So they're older, but they're not like old, 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 you know. And for context, so I live in like a townhouse sort of deal, like a row house. So every house is just like up against each other and our backyards are like connected to one another. Like we share a hedge with the people that live next door to us, you know. So a few weeks ago, these people, they apparently like wanted to cut their hedge, so they asked their next door neighbor that my my parents are like friends with and they're like some good neighbors, you know. So they asked her if they could cut the hedge between their houses and my parents' friend was kind of like under the impression that they would just like cut maybe 20 centimeters off or just like a little bit, you know, not a lot, just a regular amount. I, I don't really know why they wanted to cut the hedge, why they felt like it was necessary to trim it down because like it's March right now so I think this happens in February and normally like you cut your hedge in the summer so not in February, okay? This is weird. Like that's really weird. <laughs> and the good neighbor, you know, the one that we like, the woman, she was under the impression that they would just like cut a little bit off for some reason. I don't think she really like questioned it too much. So she left her house. I think she just like went out for the day. And when she came home, half of her hedge was just like gone. And she was in shock because like, obviously she did not think that they would cut that much off. And they cut like at least one, one and a half meters off. That's so weird. Like I think the hedge is normally around two meters tall or something like that. I think in feet that's like maybe six seven feet tall something like that so it's pretty tall and then now the hedge is like 150 centimeters so probably like what five feet tall probably yeah so it's really short <laughs> and i don't know why they did that like why would they cut the hedge that short my mom and i were like talking about it and we were thinking that perhaps it was because they wanted like some evening sun because the sun is on like the back side of the house in the evening but then that like doesn't make any sense either because they cut the wrong hedge, like the hedge on the wrong side. The sun is not on that side, so that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why they wanted the hedge to be that short. What was their intention? Like, I don't- what? <laughs> it's so weird. And I don't know how the good neighbor like reacted to that, but she just told some of the like friends in the neighborhood, like my parents and some of the other people. And she was just completely in shock because that was just not what she was expecting, of course. And it's gonna take like years for it to grow up again. <laughs> but I don't understand why they did it. And I don't think that the people that cut the hedge understood why it was so weird and so wrong for them to do that but i just i don't understand why they did it what was their goal with that i don't understand <laughs> because it's not like those nightmare neighbors and the good neighbor are like good friends like i don't think they talk at all and i think they're kind of like not on the best of terms because these people are just like kind of weird you know no one on the street really likes them so it's not because they wanted to like feel connected with the other neighbor like that doesn't make any sense i don't understand why they did it it's so weird <laughs> so that's just like a thing that happens 
a few weeks ago but i have a lot of stories about these specific people that i want to tell you and i also have a lot of stories about other people in my neighborhood and i just like want to tell a lot of them because i feel like it's just fun to gossip about people in voice service you know right i feel like that's really fun so let me know if you want some more of them because i definitely have a lot and also like these people are just you know that type that always wants to criticize everyone for literally everything like these people will criticize you for not doing anything wrong it's so annoying and one of the other or one of their other next door neighbors her boyfriend sometimes comes over and then he parks his car outside of her house like her house not theirs okay and i guess that when he was parking his car outside of her house he kind of like had to drive one of his tires onto like a patch of grass outside of their house to like kind of park properly in front of her house so he had to like drive onto that little like patch of grass and when he did that and like other people did that when they parked outside of her house i guess they kind of like ruined the grass a bit and it got like all muddy and just not pretty i suppose but this patch of grass is not on their property it's outside of their property and also it's not a big deal but these people they had to like continuously put little notes on his car like the windshield of his car saying that he shouldn't be parking right there and that it's so unacceptable that he like drags up mud and whatnot like why do they care that much i don't get it like this grass patch is not on their property they don't get to have control over it it's so stupid like he's not bothering anyone like just leave them alone <laughs> it's so stupid oh, so yeah i have a lot of stories about these people they're so annoying but let me know if you want to hear some more because they suck okay they suck but this right here is the teenager's bedroom and when we're done doing that we're gonna move on to decorating the child's bedroom so we've kind of like almost decorated all of the rooms inside the house now but i really like the teenager's bedroom i feel like it's for a like fashionista and like makeup enthusiast which i thought was really fun and i made like a sort of walk-in closet sort of deal not really but like it's kind of separate from the rest of the room and they just have like a little nook where they do their makeup and have their clothes and whatnot i suppose <laughs> but i just thought it was cute and i used the vanity from vintage glamour which i literally have not used in years and years because i just like always forget about that item it's just not one that i think about regularly but then when i was like building this house i kind of like was thinking about the personalities of these sims i didn't really like give them that much of a personality but like i knew i wanted to go for like a quote-unquote like girly sim in the teenager's bedroom and then i remembered the vanity item from vintage glamour and i was like oh my god i need to put it in this in this room because it's so cute you know and i have not used it in forever so i did that and it's not like that great of an item like you can do makeup on it but it's not like that fancy or anything like that like the makeup that you can do the looks like the makeup looks are not that pretty because ea made them and it's like ea makeup and it's just not cute and it's not like something that looks good on every skin tone and whatnot so it's just it's not that cute but i guess the idea of having a vanity is pretty cute and your child sims can play with makeup on it which is really fun because then they end up looking really crazy so that's kind of like a cute interaction but what you can do for grown sims is not it's not that fun in my opinion but you know it's a cute item also like regarding what i said in my last video about like everything in my life just kind of being a little messed up right now I'm fine by the way. Thank you for like being so kind and understanding in the comments, but yeah, I just want to let you all know that I'm like okay, but it's just there's a lot of stuff going on right now and you know, it's just <laughs> kind of a really bad situation. I'm just I'm really nervous about stuff and like the entire thing is kind of like culminating this weekend like on Friday and I'm really really nervous about it because I know I'm not going to be like okay this weekend and for a long time after that, but I'm just trying to not like think about it right now but it's just like a really annoying situation and I didn't know that it would like turn into this much of a problem like these kind of things they just seem to always hit you out of the blue and it's just so annoying and like it has been something I've been worried about for a long time but I never knew that it was this big of a problem and I know I'm being like re really annoyingly vague about it but it's just like a really personal situation and also like I don't think I should be talking about it but yeah the entire thing is like gonna happen this weekend and then like the week after that is probably gonna be awful but <laughs> yeah i don't know i'm just trying to like cope and not think too much about it and i don't want 
these people like to have control over me for this entire week too and I don't want them to like ruin my week so I'm just trying to like ignore it and do my best to not think too much about it and just like live my life I suppose you know <laughs> when the entire situation is over though I will be looking into taking legal action so if you're one of those people that are doing this thing then perhaps I'll see you in court yeah and I'm not talking about the basketball court because I don't know how to play basketball so I definitely would not win that but <laughs> Yeah, anyway, whatever. This video is about to come to an end, so I would just like to say thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today, listening to me gossip and ramble on about everything, you know? If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and you enjoy my content. I would really appreciate it, but you do not have to. This house will be available for you to download on my gallery page. My ID is just Lazy Elena, so it should be pretty easy to find. It's exactly like my YouTube channel. But yeah, besides all of that, I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day. And then I cannot wait to see you all in my next video that I will be posting in a few days. So yeah, stay safe, everybody. Stay hydrated, all of that stuff. Bye.